So this month with BoxyCharm, I got all of these crazy products that I had to kind of put and mash up into one look. And so I wasn't super excited about it because this is not like a look to me. You know, it's just a bunch of like mishmash things that I just kind of put on my face. So this was not a very exciting box, but but it had some practical items. Like Welcome back. It's Charlotte. Long time no speak, long time no video. As you can tell, I've changed my background. It's really just I've changed location of where I'm filming. I hope that it's not too jarring. I hope you're not too disoriented. I thought it was fitting. You know, I reorganized my um, library and I thought, well, you know, Library, my favorite perfumes if you didn't already know, which I guess I haven't talked about on this channel yet, but I'm a big, big perfume collector. I love perfumes. I'm kind of a perfume nerd. I have a different perfume for how I feel, per season. And I even have perfumes I don't really like wear because I don't like the way they smell. They remind me of someone or of something. So yeah, anyway, I could talk a lot about perfumes. I'm not gonna talk about that right now. So this month I'm quite late for doing this but it's going to be my boxy charm unboxing and this month i have to say there are some products in it that i like but it's slightly overwhelming especially to do a video so the, the theme for this month's boxy charm was make waves i don't know i got variation number one it says right here so we first got the glam glow gentle bubble cleanser which comes in this package here and um, I'm not going to use this right now, but I did use it once to see how it was and let me just wait Right, it doesn't have much of a scent. It's just it's just a nice gentle cleanser. That's not going to strip your skin. There's nothing Miraculous about it. It's a nice bottle and I mean it's a practical item that I'm happy to receive as far as cleansers go I don't feel that you need anything um I don't feel like you need anything special in a cleanser. For reference, I do a double cleanse every night, so that means like, well, depending on whether I'm wearing makeup or not. So if I'm wearing makeup, I will first cleanse with an oil cleanser, and then I'll use like this kind of cleanser after. Um, and this works great for the second cleanse, or for or just as a cleanser if you don't wear makeup and you just want to wash your face. Um, there's nothing special about it. Uh, personally I find and just in general cleansers are just meant to gently remove debris dirt oil that's on your skin like they're not even if there's special ingredients and stuff in it I prefer to use my special ingredients in other skin care steps skin care skin, skin care <laughs> skin care steps so like serums or oils or lotions things like that because this has no way of really sinking in and having an, any effect on your skin. So if there's, for example, glycolic acid or... I'd rather get that in a serum or something than in a cleanser because you're just applying it and removing it right away, right? So as far as what I expect out of a cleanser, this is fabulous. This is great. It has no scent, no discernible scent. It's like a creamy white pearl sort of cleanser and it does what it's supposed to do so not exciting but totally useful and i'm happy to get it and as usual i haven't put much on my face other than just foundation did my brows very basic put some mascara on because i did want to try on some of these products on camera next i am happy to receive this was probably like the more exciting makeup product we got the alamar colorette blush trio and I got the Fair Light, which goes with my complexion. There's Fair Light, there's Medium, and there's Dark. And if you complete your quiz online, they should send you the appropriate color. So this one, at first glance, I was like not sure about the very intense orangey tones in here, as you can see. But actually, I was also excited about it because I don't really have any orangey blushes, you know, so 
And when I'm looking at it right now, I didn't put any highlight on today because I wanted to see how shimmery these blushes were because they all have, well, but I so in the middle is kind of more of a satin, but the other two, especially Scorcher over here, has, they have kind of like a micro shimmer in them. So I think they're supposed to be like illuminating kind of blushes, you know? Maybe we should try it on right now. Let's try it. So let's go with, there is a nice little mirror and I love, like packaging is obviously not really that important when it comes down to it, but this packaging is so cute, I have to say. I love that it's not too big. Like, it could have been a lot bulkier, but it's a perfect size, nice and handy. And I love the turquoise color here all over with the like rose gold spackle. So cute. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go for a little bit of paraiso first. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? I don't know how well you can see that on camera right now. But in real life, it's very pretty, very soft. It's very like, it's, it's super pretty. What else can I say? It's pretty. It's pretty and it's pinky and you can definitely see that it's not completely matte. I like how it applies. It's very nice and buildable, which I definitely love in a blush. I don't like when there's like a straight, strong pigment in, in my blush. Um, now, I really wanted to try it with the Scorcher, which is the orange, well, they're both orange. But I think Scorcher is very interesting. I feel like this is the kind of color that would look really good at the end of summer when you're whether you like it or not, like super tanned. I say whether you like it or not because like, obviously it's skin damage. So, you know, even if you protected yourself, you still kind of tan. So yeah, very nice and glowy. I mean, I would still add a highlight over this. So it's definitely not like, it's not overwhelming in any way. You know what I mean? Like the sh there's no like intense shimmer or anything like that. So let's see, I'm gonna build this up a little bit more for the camera, as in more than what I would wear in real life. So you can see it. And I've been doing this like where I bring it all, <laughs> like the remnants on my brush. Obviously I think, I hope the light isn't washing me out. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna take my bronzer brush and just try to Run that in a little bit to my bronzer. The next product we got in the box is the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick. Well, some of us got that, other people got something else. But, um, and there were like, I wanna say there were like, maybe like 12 or 15 colors that we could receive. And of course I got the one color that I was kind of scared of, um, which is Pinky Promise. So it's like a fuchsia pink. I'm gonna be honest, I tried using it in different ways before filming this, thinking that maybe I could try different things, but honestly, it's uh, it's bright, it's intense. I tried using it on my eyes, it totally stained my lids, obviously, it's not supposed to go there, but I just tried to be creative with it, you know? And um, I, think, I think we're just gonna, I think I'm just gonna show you what it looks like on my lips, okay? We're gonna do it. It smells nice though. Now, this is a beautiful color. It's just that, I think you know what I mean. So I really, really wanted one of the nude colors course especially just because especially oh my god it's so intense especially just because I 
feel like it makes my teeth look yellow too. Especially because there's such a cult following for this specific um, lip product. People really love these. So, and I've never used a dose of color lip color, so I was really excited to receive it. It just wasn't exactly the kind of color that I wanted. So, as you can see, It looks kind of shiny right now, but it will dry down. I tried it on the other day um, and the formula is very like liquidy, liquidy, it's very wet and not as liquidy as like the Huda Beauty liquid lip, which is almost like you have to be careful when you take the wand out, it's like watery but it's pretty thin it's kind of like the Kat Von D formula I guess it's very comfortable because of that it's very comfortable so it's like matte and but it never like completely dries down you know like for example um an Anastasia lip is like really matte and really really long lasting and dries down but it's also very drying so this one's not as drying and it has that tacky sort of sticky feeling which I mean you might not like but it also means that it's more comfortable so you know you have to compromise for your liquid lips if you want more comfort it's gonna be a little bit more a little bit more tacky a little bit more sticky um, anyway very fun color like I will say very fun color I just I'm just gonna be honest okay with you guys with y'all, just gonna be honest. What am I supposed to do with Fuchsia Lip, the next product, this Ciate Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow in Cupid, I'm pretty sure. Yes, in Cupid, which looks absolutely beautiful. This is the wand. super beautiful just might be a little bit over the top like for me like if I were ooh, the thing is I'm gonna have to take a better swatch for you guys of this but when you first look at it it looks like it has like a lot of purple and everything it looks really gorgeous but as you like kind of blend it out you see a lot more of just like the gold sparkle which is absolutely beautiful but it just shows that it's a very sheer sort of cream product like it's more of like a topper it's more of like an eyeshadow topper anyway there's that product that I'm gonna try on and then last but not least wait is this all is there something else that I'm missing that I'm forgetting about no there you go last but not least is the bodyography filler item because we always know these are the filler items the lip liners the eyeliners all of those which I don't mind I'm like especially if there's other products that are really good I'm like okay fine send me a filler item like this you know they're usually useful they come in handy sometimes this is the bodyography midnight blue eye pencil so oh my god it just it just broke the tip do I do this, you guys? Do I do I mix the, the Bodyography Blue Liner with the Fuchsia Lip and that lid topper? It's just not something I would put together, you know? Uh, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna do it. You know what I think I wanna do, though? I'm gonna put it on the top of my eye. I don't usually line my waterline, so I'm not gonna do that, but I will maybe do just I should really, really sharpen this pencil, you know? You see that I tried to do a little wing with a blunt coal pencil. I, I just, I need to sharpen this. This is ridiculous, right? This color is super pretty, but I just, it's not something I want to wear with this pink lip, although just 
the little wing like that. That's kind of cute. And now I'm going to add the topper, the lid topper. Let's see if I can sort of smudge and flick. I'm not happy with it. I just tried to clean that up a little bit. You got like the the little midnight blue liner. Be kind. And then the final step is gonna be the eye luster, which, I don't know, I think it would look nice on the inner, yeah. Oh God, oh goodness. Like when you first apply it like this, it looks beautiful. But then if you blend it out, It looks so pretty though. I mean, it has a really nice applicator too. Like you would think, ooh, I could do a cut crease with this, so easy. So it looks like it would be super cool, but if you blend it out, it just kind of gets rid of all the purple. But like, just like this, can you see the reflect? It's cool. Like the reflect is hardcore. Zoom you in. This is not really a look for me. I'm just kind of piling on all these products. I wear these things one at a time, you know? I will say, oh, I forgot to say, it burns. I don't know why, like now I can definitely say that it burns on my eyes because that happened last time and I was like, oh, well. I think you have to, if you want it to be more pigmented like this, you need to just not blend it but i want to see if i can like just blend the edges or something i think it would look really really pretty with like a nice like lilac in the crease and then just a little bit of this on the lid like uh modern renaissance anastasia beverly hills on fresco that would look good I'm gonna try it. It's a soft sort of lavender color. Okay, see the problem is that if you do that, it gets rid of all the, it gets rid of the cream shadow underneath. So anyway, if you wanna do that, put your matte down first and then use, and then use the cream shadow because or else you're just gonna be taking it all off, basically. So, Okay, yeah, that just flicked off all the glitters. So much for that. So there you go. That's gonna be a quick, relatively quick and uneventful BoxyCharm unboxing and try on. This was not a very exciting box, but, but it had some practical items. Like I said, like the cleanser. Always nice to have a cleanser. It's a high-end cleanser that I would never otherwise buy because like I said, I just don't believe that you need a high-end cleanser. Um, and I'm still kind of happy, like even my boyfriend was like, but it's good that you got that color because for the lips, because you don't have any color like that, which is kind of true. Like, okay, like I have a million nudes. I don't need another nude. It's true. Um, so who knows? Maybe I'll wear this again. That's what I have to say about this month's box. It was fun, not amazing, not that exciting, but still worth it. Please let me know what you got in your box. What color look did you get too, by the way? Let me know if you have any other ideas about how we can wear these products, what you thought of the Eye Luster Ciate eyeshadow. Please subscribe to my channel. I do videos every week, or mostly every week, on makeup, beauty, books, and fitness. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.